Fajan's rule. To learn Fajan's rule, let me give you one example. Consider this man pulling this sack. We know that when we pull something soft, it usually gets distorted or deformed. Similarly, this man is pulling this sack and it gets deformed. Now consider these positive and negative ions. Here, the size of ketine is smaller and the size of enine is larger. Now this positive ion or ketine attracts these electrons of the enine. Let me repeat it. This positive ion or ketine attracts these electrons of the enine. As a result of this, the electronic cloud of enine gets deformed or distorted. I mean, this ketine is like a man pulling the sack of electrons and it gets deformed. Here, we use three important terms, polarizing power, polarizability and polarization. Remember that we use polarizing power for ketines, polarizability for enines and polarization for electronic cloud. For instance, I say polarizing power is the pulling ability of a ketine. For example, if this ketine pulls the electron of enine strongly, we say that it has more polarizing power. So we define it as the ability of a ketine to polarize the nearby enine. Secondly, I say polarizability is the deforming ability of an enine. For example, when this enine experiences strong pull of the ketine, it will be highly deformed and its polarizability will be high. So we define it as the ability of an enine to get deformed by the ketine. Thirdly, we define polarization as the distortion of the electronic cloud of an enine towards ketine is called polarization. For example, this electronic cloud tilt towards the ketine. As a result of this, more electrons are at this side. So partially negative charge appear on this side. At this side, less electrons are present. So partially positive charge appear on this side. Thus we say that this enine is polarized due to having partially positive charged pole and partially negative charged pole. Therefore note it down all these basic and important concepts. Now what is Fajan's rule? Well, consider ionic bond. We know that ionic bond is formed between ketine and enine. Here, this ketine will attract these electrons of this nearby enine. As a result of this pulling, the electronic cloud of this enine will tilt towards ketine and enine is polarized. Now listen carefully. These electrons look like that they are shared. Let me repeat it. These electrons look like that they are shared. We know that sharing of electron is the property of a covalent bond. But here, it seems that these electrons are also shared an ionic bond. Due to which, we say that partially covalent character exists an ionic bond. Thus remember that some covalent characters are present in ionic bond. Now, Fajan rule shows the amount of covalent character present in ionic bond due to polarization of ions. Let me repeat it. Fajan rule shows the amount of covalent character present in ionic bond due to polarization of ions. For example, consider Mr. Shimel. We know that he carries both the character of male and female. Similarly, Fajan Baba teaches that ionic bonds also carry some character of a covalent bond. In conclusion, we learn that no bond is 100% ionic or 100% covalent. Rather, covalent and ionic are relative terms. I mean, they both exist at same time in any chemical bond. Now let me teach you that how can we determine covalent character and ionic bonds. Well, firstly, 
कंसिडर किटाइंस वी नो दैट किटाइंस हैव पोलराइजिंग पावर और पुलिंग पावर द फर्स्ट फैक्टर ऑफ किटाइंस इफेक्टिंग कोवेलेंट करेक्टर इज द साइज ऑफ किटाइंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर दीज टू आइंस द साइज ऑफ दिस किटाइन इज स्मॉलर इट विल इजिली पुल द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑफ इन आइंस हेंस इट्स पुलिंग पावर इज हाई इट्स पोलराइजिंग पावर इज हाई एंड इट हैज मोर कोवेलेंट करेक्टर ऑन द अदर हैंड द साइज ऑफ दिस किटाइन इज लार्जर इट विल बी डिफिकल्ट फॉर इट टू पुल द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑफ इन आइन हेंस इट्स पुलिंग पावर इज लो इट्स पोलराइजिंग पावर इज लो एंड इट हैज लेस कोवेलेंट करेक्टर दस रिमेंबर दैट द स्मॉलर द साइज ऑफ किटाइन the greater will be the polarizing power and covalent character for example consider this case which ion has more covalent character well lithium has the smallest size and potassium has the largest size so lithium has more covalent character than sodium and sodium has more covalent character than potassium the second factor is charge on cations consider these cations we can see that this cation has more positive charge it will love to pull more electrons of anion hence its polarizing power is high and it has more covalent character on the other hand this cation has less positive charge it will hesitate to pull more electrons of anion or it doesn't love to pull more electron of anion hence its polarizing power is low and it has less covalent character for example consider this case which ion has more covalent character well aluminum has positive 3 charge and sodium has positive 1 charge so aluminum has more covalent character than magnesium and magnesium has more covalent character than sodium thus remember that the more the charge on a cation is the more is its polarizing power and the more it has covalent character the third factor is pseudo noble gas configuration but i will not teach you this concept because it is both boring and difficult for students i teach them the third factor as superhero cations i mean these superhero cations has the highest covalent character in the periodic table one family is coinage metals and the second one is zinc family whenever you spot these superhero cations they always have the highest covalent character for example consider this case here the anion is the same which is chlorine the cation is copper and sodium we know that copper is a superhero cation so copper ion has more covalent character than sodium therefore copper chloride has more covalent character than sodium chloride hence note it down all these important points now i will teach you properties of anions affecting the covalent character we know that anions have polarizability or deforming ability The first factor affecting covalent character is size of anions. Let consider these anions. We can see that the size of this anion is smaller. It will not easily be distorted or it will deform less. Hence its polarizability is smaller and it has less covalent character. On the other hand, this anion has larger size. It will be easily distorted. or it will be easily deformed hence its polarizability is high and it has more covalent character for example consider this case we know that the size of bromine is the largest and that of fluorine is the smallest hence bromine has more covalent character than chlorine and fluorine thus remember that the more the size of anion is the more is polarizability and the more is covalent character the second factor affecting covalent character is charge on anion let consider these ions we can see that this anion has less negative charge or less electrons 
so it will not easily experience the force of cation or it will not be easily deformed. Hence, its polarizability is low and it has less covalent character. On the other hand, this anion has more electrons or more negative charge. So, it will easily experience the force of cation or it will be easily deformed. Hence, its polarizability is high and it has more covalent character. For example, consider this case. Here, the charge on oxygen is double negative and the charge on chlorine is single negative. Hence, oxygen has more covalent character than chlorine. Therefore, remember that if charge on anion is high, it has more polarizability and more covalent character. Thus, note it down all these important points. Now, let me teach you some important MCQ suffragence rule. Also, remember these important points about ketines and anions. If the size of a ketine is smaller, it will have more polarizing power and covalent character. Secondly, if the size of an anion is larger, it will have more polarizability and covalent character. Now consider these ionic compounds. Find the order of increasing covalent character. Well, here ketan is the same which is a sodium. So I only consider anion. We know that larger the size of an anion, more is the polarizability and covalent character. The size of iodine ion is greater than bromine and chlorine ion. So this is the order of increasing covalent character. Secondly, in this case, anion is the same in all ionic compounds, which is chlorine. So I only consider ketines. We know that smaller the size of a ketion, more is its polarizing power and covalent character. The size of a lithium is smaller than sodium and potassium. Hence, this is the order of increasing covalent character. Thirdly, in this case, the anion is the same, which is fluorine. I only consider ketines. The size of beryllium is smaller than magnesium and calcium. Hence, this is the order of increasing covalent character. Fourthly, we know that the larger the charge on a ketine, the more is its polarizing power and covalent character. Hence, silicon has highest charge and sodium has lowest charge. Thus, this is the order of increasing covalent character. Also consider these questions. Which ketion has more covalent character? Well, we know that copper is a superhero ketion. So, copper has more covalent character than sodium. Secondly, Silver is also a superhero ketion. So, silver has more covalent character than potassium. Thirdly, cadmium is from a zinc family. It is a superhero ketion. So, cadmium has more covalent character than calcium. Fourthly, gold is a superhero ketion. So, gold has more covalent character than rubidium. Thus, note it down all these important MCQs. Now let me teach you the application of Fudgeon's rule. Well, to learn its application, we must learn some important questions. Why ionic bond is soluble in water in most cases? Well, the answer is simple. It is because ionic bond is polar and water is also a polar solvent. We know that like dissolve like. Hence, many ionic bonds are soluble in water. Secondly, why ionic bond has high melting points and boiling points? The answer is simple. It is because of strong electrostatic force of attraction between ions and ionic bond. Thirdly, why covalent compounds are colored? It is because covalent compounds absorb energy then electrons emit radiation in the visible spectrum, due to which they are colorful. Now, in the light of these facts, we can say that if covalent character increases, solubility of ionic compound decreases, 
because they will be less ionic and more covalent. Secondly, if covalent character increases, the melting point and boiling point of ionic compounds decreases. Thirdly, if covalent character increases, the color imparting ability of ionic compounds increases because covalent compounds are colorful. Thus note it down all these important points. Now consider these important questions. Which will have a higher melting point, sodium chloride or copper chloride? Well, we know that the anion is the same in both the compounds, which is chlorine. I select the cation. We already know that copper is a superhero cation. So the covalent character of copper is more than sodium. Hence copper chloride has more covalent character than sodium chloride. We know that when covalent character increases, melting point and boiling point decreases. The sodium chloride has high melting point than copper chloride. Secondly, which is more soluble? Iron 3 hydroxide and iron 2 hydroxide. In this case, both the cations and anions are the same. But the oxidation state of iron is positive 3 in this compound and positive 2 in this compound. We know that the greater the charge on a cation, the greater will be the covalent character. Hence, iron 3 hydroxide has more covalent character than iron 2 hydroxide. We know that when covalent character increases, solubility decreases. Hence, iron 2 hydroxide is more soluble than iron 3 hydroxide. Lastly, which one has the darkest color? Silver fluoride, silver chloride, silver bromide, silver iodide. Well, cations are the same in all compounds, which is silver. We know that the size of iodine is the largest and the size of the fluorine is the smallest. So this is the order of increasing covalent character. Silver iodide has the highest covalent character and silver fluoride has the lowest covalent character. We know that when covalent character increases, color imparting ability of ionic compounds also increases. Hence, silver iodide has a dark color. Thus noted down all these important questions. Finally, let me teach you one bonus concept like limitation of Fujin's rule. Remember that Fujin's rule is a qualitative law. It means that we cannot find the numerical value or percentage of covalent character in ionic bond. For example, we cannot say that 50% or 70% covalent character and ionic bond. Rather, we only summarize covalent character and ionic bond. I hope that you have learned all about Fujin's rule.